Alright, so C3.ai, one of the new OGs within the AI space. Why well, say OG? Because beginning of 2023 when chat GPT hit the scene, everybody was racing to invest in any stock that had AI attached to it. And C3.ai was one of them. Nevertheless, they recently reported earnings and the shares surged 20%. However, Morgan Stanley still thinks the valuation is unattractive. Now, to put some perspective of where price is relative to the bigger picture, if we zoom out to the monthly chart, we can see that uh, price is roughly in the middle between uh, a resistance support band at $44 and a resistance support band at $24. All right, scrolling down to the weekly chart. You can see how price tested this again, resistance support band twice, and did respect this uptrend. Question is, where's price heading next? Well, to get some clues, let's look at the actual results, and then we'll finish the analysis on the charts. So the enterprise AI technology developer posted a loss per share of 13 cents in the fiscal third quarter, notably better than the expected loss per share of $0.28. Cents. Revenue for the quarter came in at $78, uh, $78 million, surpassing the consensus estimate of $76 million. Now, the government set to emerge as a standout performer with the state and local government tr contracts, constituting 29% of the total bookings. Moreover, revenue and bookings from the federal government experienced significant year-over-year -year growth, with increases of 100% and 85% respectively. So here's what the CEO had to say, Thomas Siebel. We had a great quarter. Total revenue of $78 million grew 18% year-over-year, exceeding our guidance range. Customer engagement grew 80% year-over-year. Also, our significant first mover advantage in enterprise AI is generating tailwinds as market interest in adopting AI accelerates. However, Morgan Stanley analysts were impressed by C3 AI's clean quarter. <coughs> especially its performance in the government sector. They go on to say, while this level of absolute growth is hard to sustain, management sees plenty of opportunity in both federal and state and local for years to come. However, the revenue growth still projected to come in below 20%. Valuation does not look attractive at 12 times sales. However, Morgan Stanley reiterated the underweight rating and the raised the price target to $21 from $20. I don't even know why they raised the price target $8. Going back to the charts, again, where's price heading next? To get some clues, we need to scroll down to the daily chart. Uh, and before we do that, let's keep note of this $32 level. As you can see, that was support, now resistance. So a potential setup opportunity because the liquidity is above $40. But a potential opportunity would be is buying on a pullback to that resistance now support area before price moves higher. As you can see, this Thursday candle is the candle in control, meaning if price closes above the upper end of the range price will tend to move higher but if it closes below the low portion of the range look for that pullback um, to materialize scrolling back up to the weekly chart ultimately we can see price climbing higher this year as all everything in the AI space is getting uh, bid up so look for and take some profits off the table at the weekly sellers level at $51. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, please like the video.